Okay, hopefully this is working now. Hi guys, I am Cress, um, and it's Saturday. This week's topic is coming out. Um, mine was pretty, oh my roots, oh man, I gotta do that. Mine was pretty crazy, um, a lot of tears and whatnot. Um, it all started, uh, well I, I had already been um, planning to come out to my family at a certain point. This was my sophomore year over winter break. So I was planning on coming out to them over New Year's because, you know, it's like the new year and it's like, oh, why not just tell them I'm gay, you know, start fresh and everything. It was the first day of winter break. Um, we were going to uh, a family party, a Christmas party, and I was able to meet my new step aunt. Um, I met her for the, I think it was maybe like first time, maybe the second time, something like that. And um, it all kind of started around dinner time when we were, everyone else was sitting at a different table and then there was me and then my, well my step cousins I guess, who I had also just met that day. And um, my aunt, uh, Aunt Vicky, that's her name. Uh, the, this top, the subject of school came up and Gabby was my cousin, her daughter. She was about maybe sixth grade, maybe even less than that, I'm not sure. She was talking about how people, um, at her school were like dating and how they would have, you know, they would already have like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or something. My aunt was talking about how that's, you know, you should, you should wait to have a boyfriend, you know, if you're in sixth grade, that's not really, you know, I guess that's not, it wasn't a good thing. She just thought it was kind of weird. Um, and then she said there was, uh, she saw like there were, there were lesbians at, at her school and um, my aunt would be, you know, so against it and everything. And then we started, the, the topic of politics started coming up and, um, Gabby was like saying that she really is into politics, and I, and I'm, I myself, I'm really into politics. I, I like talking about it, and I was talking to Vicky. All of a sudden, Gabby she blurts out, she goes, uh, she goes, yes on eight, and then um, my aunt was like, yeah, I would vote yes on eight, and I'm just sitting there like, and all the politics we would talk about, like we would just have completely opposing, you know, viewpoints of it, and um, so that was that. That was that. So we were in the car. It was my brother and I, and then my parents, obviously, and we were driving home, and. I was talking to my mom and I was like, I don't really think I'm, I, Aunt Vicky and I are gonna get along. I don't think she'll really like me. I don't really, it's eh. They were asking like, why not? And, and, and they were all like really surprised. And I said that we just had different viewpoints on a bunch of, on, you know, different, you know, politics and just different things. And it's, I just didn't see us really getting along, you know? She was, you know, obviously Republican, very conservative. And my mom was like, well, you know, Caress, your dad and I are both really conservative too and old fashioned. When they said that, I was just, busted out just crying my eyes out and my parents turned around they're just like what is she doing what is this why is she crying right now and adam's sitting next to me like what so my mom's like why are you why are you crying and i'm like because you guys are gonna hate me and they're like why why would we hate you and i said um because you guys are old-fashioned and blah blah and something and, and they were just like they were so confused and i was just like it's because i'm gay and it was just dead silence in the car and I'm sitting, you know, in the back seat obviously and my head's just like up against my dead, the, the front seat and I'm just like <laughs> and like trying to like shut up because it, it was all quiet and then you just hear my like obnoxious like <laughs> you know, it's just, it was bad and um and it was just silent for like a good like five seconds but it felt like the longest time ever and and um my mom was just like well, you know what, Chris? I'm really glad you told us. And I'm just like, <laughs> really? And she's just like, well, how long? Like, she was just, I don't remember exactly what she said, but then she started asking me, like, whether it was a phase or not. And it was just like, it was so hard for me to talk because I was just so emotional at this point. And my dad was just quiet the whole ride. Like, he didn't say anything. And my mom was just like, well, you know, she's like, you know, I wish I could give you a hug right now. And I'm just like, <laughs> and so we get home. And I'm just still, I'm still just sitting in the car, like, <laughs> just trying to like compose myself. I went after a little bit and I just like sat on my couch and I turned the TV on and my mom comes downstairs and she comes up to me and she's just like crying and she gives me a hug and she's like, you know, I, I don't ever want you to you know hide something like that from me again. Like I, I'm, I, I'm so happy that you finally told us. And um, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it was, it was finally out there. My parents have been really supportive about it. The only, the only thing that really, that they didn't really know how to handle was the way I, 
I started to dress, my hair just, you know, kept getting shorter and shorter. And it's like every time my parents would see like a big pile of hair in the trash can, they would just kind of die a little inside because, it's, you know, I was just entirely, I looked entirely different. And it was just like, it was a little difficult, but now it's like, I love gay people, gay people are the best. And it's just, it's been, it's been really great. So any advice I would really give to you guys would be, um, you know, just come out when you're ready. I mean, you'll know when you when you when you want to come out, and when you do, honestly, it's just like a the like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders, and it's it's just it's a great feeling. Um, another piece of advice would be to if you really know how homophobic your parents are and they express it, um, maybe wait until you're, you know, maybe financially independent. You just want to wait to wait till the right time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, We'll see you guys next Monday with another topic. So yeah, I will see you guys next Saturday.